We're going to make a paper playscape today, but first let's talk about these magical balls that you can make for your garden. What you do is cover a styrofoam ball with air dry clay and then you can press mosaic tiles into it, you can press stones into it, or you can add sparkle. And this project is from Jennifer West and she has a blog called pinkwen.com. She sent that in to us and we wanted to be sure to show it to you before we get started making our outdoor scene. So the outdoor scene is made with paper and also paint, and you're going to also use some toilet paper rolls you can see there. And this is a fun way to create something that you're also going to play with. So we're using the family craft box this week. So the, like I mentioned, the rolls are what you'll need extra, and then you'll also need a cereal box or some kind of thin cardboard from your recycling. We're going to have some acrylic paint, some marker pens, paint brushes, and other things from around your house. It'll also help you make the sun if you have some pinking shears. So the first thing you're going to do is take your glue stick and put some cardboard down onto pattern paper. Just run your glue stick all around the edges and through the center. And you can either cover a whole piece of cardboard with the same piece of paper like I used for this one, or you can cut smaller pieces of cardboard that are going to fit some of your patterns. The pattern sheet is going to be on the website, or you can draw your own trees by just folding a piece of paper in half and making lines. So what you'll do for a piece of cardboard like this that's already glued down is start to brush some paint onto it. And that's why I left a little bit of paper around the edges here, so that if my paint goes off the edge, it's okay. It's not going to make a big mess. So we'll brush our acrylic paint on to our cardboard and you just want to get a really nice layer of paint all over the board. If you want this to be brighter colors, you could paint it white first and that would make your color really pop too. But this has a really nice kind of woodsy look to it when you're done. So I'm going to set this one aside and let it dry. When it's dry, then what you can do is take your pattern and just cut around the edges of your pattern so that you don't cut out the lines. Normally when you cut a pattern, almost always you're cutting right along the lines, but now if you cut it along the lines, you would have to make a pencil mark on your paint. So this way we'll just cut right through our pattern. You can hold it over your cardboard and then just trim it like that. And don't worry about it being absolutely perfect. Just make sure that you get your tree shape. Okay, so you can cut, cut, cut with your scissors all along your cardboard. So I would go ahead and cut the rest of my tree out, of course. Now, another thing that you can do is before you start cutting, you can add some glitter glue to your dry paint, or you can add it after you're done. You know, there's lots of time when, you, when these things are dry to add your embellishments. Now, when you're ready to cut out the sun, I have a piece of painted yellow and it has some yellow paper on the other side. That's when we're gonna use some pinking shears. We're gonna cut around the border like that so that it looks like the sun when it's all cut out. They're called pinking shears because they have a zigzag edge. Of course, you could use other types of decorative scissors if you wanted to have a different kind of edge around your trees or your sun or any of the pieces. So to make a stand for all of these, you're going to cut up your paper roll. How you do that is just fold it a little bit like this and then cut it. Then you can cut, paint some of them green and some of them brown. To paint it without making a huge mess, you can paint one side like this and then let it dry and paint the other side or you can just go for it and paint the other side while you're working. You might want to paint the inside too so that it looks really pretty and finished when you're done. Okay, so there's a stand. Let me show you what it looks like when you put these together. Here's one of my little pieces with a shorter stand that I painted green inside and out. And then I have some little dots that I made using a paint pen. And this is an easy way that you can make berries on any of your trees or bushes. Just go ahead and dot them up. You can also make lines on the tree using your paintbrush. So take a round brush 
And this one already has a branch up the middle, but I can add some other branches. Take your round brush, and if you start where you want to finish, then it will always look round at the end like that. Press it down. You can add more branches here. Press it down like that. And then you can add some more berries and leaves into your tree if you want to. And of course, you can add some glitter. So let's take this one. We have some water here. We'll add another layer of some turquoise glitter over the top. This will make it really nice and shiny. Use our thicker brush. Just brush this all over the surface. Then, I forgot to mention that you have to create some slots here so that you can stand your tree. So make sure that you use your scissors, follow the pattern, and make it so that it will stand on top of your roll. So just like that, you can pull the sides apart and press it onto your stand. And then you have this great playscape that's reversible. So you have your painted side on one and your paper side on the other, and you are ready to play.